Jared here. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Audi 2.0T TFSI turbocharger. Specifically on this particular engine, most of the time you're going to get a PO299 fault code for this turbocharger whenever it fails, and I'm going to show you why. First, we're going to look at this turbocharger right here. This is the exhaust side. This turbocharger is a, a KO3 factory turbocharger for this engine. It, uh, the manifold is built into the housing. This is your exhaust wheel right here. Everything on the exhaust wheel and the turbine, it, I've never seen a problem with any of these turbine, uh, turbos with, with the actual uh, boost par portion of it. Even the electronic portion over here. I've never seen a problem with, uh, on this particular engine, 2009 and better, I've never seen a problem with the, the solenoids, the, the recirc valve or the boost pressure solenoid, or even uh, this mechanical wastegate. Never seen a problem with that either. I'll show you what the problem is. This one is a good one. You see this trap door on the wastegate linkage? It's completely flush and it's all the way slammed shut. That's the way you want it at rest. Whenever the car um, opens up this valve is whenever it reaches its limit on a boost. Whatever the factory limit is on this particular engine, maybe it's like 16 PSI or something. Maybe it's 14 PSI that this, uh, this solenoid right here will open up and it will cause the, di the mechanical diaphragm to open up this trap door. Now, when, uh, when it, this turbocharger fails and you get a PO299, typically you'll find the turbocharger will have a loose, a loose waste gate. You see this, uh, let me get a good view on this. See how this trap door is really loose and I could spin it like this, spin it from side to side and I can uh, pull on it and pull on it and open it up. There's a uh, pretty substantial gap in there. So it's not gonna create good boost. And now let's take a closer look at the linkage. It really looks like this, this particular part was designed to fail because not only is uh, the linkage loose right here, but it's also loose right here. And that's what's causing all that play in the door. Now, there is this clip right here that they manufactured to put on the turbocharger and that helps whenever you put a new one on that helps the linkage be more robust so it won't fail prematurely so let me show you how that goes on real quick it, so let's say you have a good turbocharger you're putting a good turbocharger back on the idea is you'd you'd want to put this on like this whenever you have the new turbocharger off but i'm going to show you how to put it on even if you were wanting to do preventative maintenance with the turbocharger still on so the catalytic converter is going to be on this side that hole in the clip it's going to go on this side right here these two little arms are going to spread on either side of this linkage arm so the idea is the idea is we're going to put it on like this and roll it on up so I'm gonna to try to do this with one hand and show you. The idea is, the idea is we're gonna to try to roll it on and then, and then you wanna push it back and forth and then that's gonna make that linkage a lot more robust. And 